हेलो गाइस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल हिमानी फिजिक्स ट्यूटोरियल्स गाइस हम लोग आज न्यूट्रोनियन मैकेनिक्स कलेक्शन नंबर वन देखने वाले हैं जिसमें हम लोग पढ़ने वाले हैं सबसे बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट जो कि हमारा क्लास इलेवेंथ में से हमारा इंट्रोड्यूस होता है हमारी फिजिक्स के वर्ल्ड में दैट इज़ रिव्यू ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इसके अंदर में जो हम पहला टॉपिक पढ़ने वाले हैं वो है हमारा डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस आई होप कि Uh, आपको ये टॉपिक्स थोड़ा बहुत समझ में आता होगा और यहाँ कि आप अब तक भूल चुके होंगे तो मे बी लेट्स गिव इट अ क्विक रिविजन एंड डू सम क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू इट तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज दैट कॉन्स्टेंट्स हैव नो डायमेंशन लाइक एग्जाम्पल वी हैव पाई पाई इज अ नंबर दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इट्स वैल्यू इन दिस इज अ नंबर सो ऑल द नंबर्स और एनी कॉन्स्टेंट्स दीज ऑल हैव नो डायमेंशन दैट इज दीज आर डायमेंशनलेस क्वान्टिटीज एंगल इज डायमेंशनलेस बिकॉज एंगल इज इक्वल्स टू आर्क लेंथ सॉरी आर्क अपॉन लेंथ एंड दिस इज बोथ आर एल एल एंड एल विल बी कैंसल आउट एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद वन वन इज अगेन अ नंबर सो दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो डायमेंशन लेस सिंस एंगल्स आर डायमेंशन लेस दैन ऑल द ट्रिग्नोमैट्रिक एंगल्स आर ऑल्सो डायमेंशन लेस लाइक If sin theta, uh, considering this sin theta, sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is a length. Hypotenuse is also a length. These two will be cancel out, and we are left with one. One is again a number, so that's why it is also a dimensionless quantity. Also, the exponential functions and logarithmic functions are dimensionless. Now, the important property in this, which is going to be used in so many questions, is principle of homogeneity. Uh, considering an example of this. second equation of motion v is equals to u plus at <coughs> sorry uh, the dimension of v is l t minus 1 because v is a speed and it is like this v is velocity u is initial velocity this is final this is initial velocity a is acceleration t is time so this is also velocity its dimension will be l t minus 1 and a is also acceleration its dimension will be l t minus 2 T is time, so its time in uh, sorry, its dimension is time only. So what we see, we see that uh, L T minus one. This is uh, these two are equal, but this is also equal. How T minus two T to the power minus two into two T to the power one will become T to the power minus one. So that's why these all three are equal. This is known as principle of homogeneity, where V is equals to U is equals to A T. The dimension of these are equal. Okay. Moving on to the next example of this uh, principle of homogeneity, uh, taking another equation of motion that is, s is equals to u t plus half a t square. S is distance. Distance is denoted by length. Its dimension is length. U is initial velocity. T is time. So initial velocity that is velocity uh, l t minus one. T is time. So that's why it is written as t equals to half is a number. So it's dimensionless. Now we will do. Uh, write the uh, dimension of acceleration, which is l t minus two. Again, it's a t. T is time. Time square is equals to t square. Okay. So now these all will be equal. How? These two will be cancelled out because t to the power minus one, t to the power plus one, minus one plus one will become zero, and something's power is zero is one. So we are left with l only. In this section. L t to the power minus two here t to the power two so these two will become zero uh, t to the power zero and something's power zero is equals to one and again we are left with L so here s is equals to u t is equals to half a t square so this also follows the principle of homogeneity now we are going to apply this principle of homogeneity to solve the questions let's see see we have a question p plus a upon v square here v is volume. P is pressure and A is a constant. V again is a volume. V minus B, B is some constant. Is equals to R T. R is gas constant and T is our what? T is our temperature. So, in this uh, formula, we have to find a dimension from this relation. We have to find a dimension of A and B. This these two constants dimension we have to find where P is pressure and V is volume. So again, we are using the principle of homogeneity here. Uh, P is equals to a upon v square. V here is volume, so uh, we have to find the dimension of a in the question. So a will become P V square. We have written this. So pressure की जो हमारी dimension होती है, that is m l t minus two because pressure is equals to force upon area. You can find the dimension of force and divide it by area, that is length का square. You will get uh, to so after solving this, you will get m l t to the power minus two. 
upon uh, these two will be can this this is volume square we know that volume is equals to volume ka jo dimension hota that is l to the power 3 so um, v square will be l to the power 6 uh, so l square and uh, this l to the power 6 cancel out and we are left with l to the power 4 here and one l here so this will become l to the power 5 and we are left with m and t to the power minus 2 so the dimension of a will be m 0 L L to the power five and T to the power minus two. Now again from the relation we have uh, we have the relation like this P plus A upon V square uh, V minus B is equals to R T. We have to calculate A and B. So A is calculated from the principle of homogeneity. P is equals to A upon V square. Now we are going to this part. So V will be equal to B. So V will be equal to B and V is we know that V is a volume. So dimension of B will be L to the power three. Okay. So next question on the dimensional analysis. जो स्टार्टिंग में हमने कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़े थे उनके बेसिस पर है वी हैव क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू नॉट ई टू दी पावर टी अपॉन आर सी वी हैव सम रिलेशन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड अ डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला फॉर आर सी ओके दैट मीन्स अ डायमेंशन ऑफ आर सी सो हेयर वी नो दैट एक्सपोनेंट्स and constant this this is constant some constant this is exponent and we know that exponential functions are dimensionless so therefore we will do this t upon rc is equals to 1 okay so t upon rc is equals to 1 so that's why rc will come here and t is time so time ka jo hamara dimension hota that is t so rc's dimension will be t only okay as e is dimensionless Again, we have another example. Uh, we have given that E is equals to minus L d i upon d t. This is a relation between uh, EMF and current. Um, so we have to find a dimensional formula for R upon L. Okay, and we know that E is equals to I R from our Ohm's law. Sorry. Uh, I R is equals to minus L d i upon d t. We have to find out the dimension of R upon L. We we will put this L over here, and uh, we know that. Um, Unit of this I is ampere, and this is R over L. We will not write the unit of this because we have to find the unit of this. So that's why we will not write. And dI dI's unit is ampere, and dT's unit is time. So we have R upon these two will be cancel out ampere ampere, and we are left with R upon L is equals to one upon t. So time का हमारा dimension होता है t, तो t will become t inverse because हमने इसे numerator में लिख लिया. And अगर आपसे exam में पूछा जाए L upon R का dimension निकालो, तो that will be simple t. Okay? Now uh, we have another question. Find the unit of x in the expansion of log one plus x. So simply we know that uh, log x का जो expansion होता है that is uh, log x uh, plus log one upon x. Okay. Uh, okay okay. हाँ ये हमारा expression है इसमें से हमें इस वाले part का dimension लिखना है. Okay and हम हमें पता है कि log x का expansion होता है हमारा uh, x minus x square upon two plus and so on. so uh, we know that uh, logarithmic functions hamare um, dimensionless hote hain so that's why this will be equal to one or we can say that we, uh, if you are using uh, we are directly right ha huh? we have to write the dimension of x okay so x ka dimension ho gaya hamara x is equal principle of homogeneity we can use here x is equal to x square by 2 is equal to x cube upon 3 so these all dimension will be equal okay if x is equal to 1 then these all dimension will be one Okay, moving on. Moving on to the next question. Question is that uh, y is equals to a sine omega t plus x upon v, t minus x upon v by dimensional analysis. This expression is. We have to say this expression is right, wrong, or cannot say or none. We have four options. So what we will do? We will write the angle. We know that uh, angle is a dimensionless quantity. Okay, so we will put this equals to one as it is dimensionless. So t minus x upon v, and here we will use the principle of homogeneity, or simply we have we can write t as uh, one. Uh, we can write it as t uh, is equals to x upon v. So x का हमारा dimension हो गया l velocity is l t minus one, and we are left with t is equals to t. So principle of homogeneity. So ये हमारा क्या expression correct है? Because angle is our time. Next question is our v is equals to a t square plus b t cube. Then the unit of a upon b is only time. Okay, the unit will be only time. Why? Because we have a t square plus b t cube. So a t square will be equal to b t cube according to principle of homogeneity. So a upon b, हमें निकला a upon b का तो हम इसे a upon b कर लेंगे. ये हो जाएगा हमारा t cube upon t square. So this is only t. 
now coming on to the most important question of dimensional analysis which have been asked in five marks in december 2019 for csir net exam so the question is following a nuclear explosion a shock wave propagates radially outward okay let e be the energy released in the explosion and rho be the mass density of the attributed air ambient air ignoring the temperature of the ambient air using the dimensional analysis the functional dependence of radius radius ke dependence hume batani hai kis kis mein the shock front on this e energy released this density mass density and this time so in mein hame relation find out karna hai so dekhte hain kaise karenge hum ise we have uh, four options 1 2 3 4 this option is correct you can see in the screen now we are going to the solution part so basically hame isme karna kya hai hame isme ye karna hai hame r ki dependency dekhni hai e rho aur t mein so hum kya karenge e ki power x rho ki power y aur t ki power z hum yahan pe kya kar denge se assume kar lenge ab hame kya likhna hai sabke dimensions likhni hai so r is radius radius is length e is energy energy ka dimension hota hai ml square t minus 2 to the power x rho is our density we can find out it simply by mass upon volume l cube upar aa jayega to l ki power minus 3 power y or t especially at time so we can write t as t to the power z now what we are going to write we are going to write the missing terms like here we have m0 l1 t0 hame ise isi form mein likhna hai yahan pe bhi hum kar sakte hain ise m0 l0 okay तो हमें इसे ऐसे लिख लिया अब हमें क्या करना है कंपेयर करनी है पहले हम m की पावर्स को कंपेयर करते हैं m की पावर यहाँ पे वन है तो ये हो गया वन एक्स बेस से मुझे पावर इक्वेट हो जाती है हमें पता है तो ये हो गया वन वाई और यहाँ पे एम जीरो है उधर भी एम जीरो तो x प्लस वाई इक्वल टू जीरो ये हमारे पास आ गया तो यहाँ से हमारा x आ गया माइनस वाई के इक्वल सो ऑन कंपेयरिंग पावर ऑफ l अब हम l की पावर कंपेयर करेंगे ठीक है लेफ्ट हैंड साइड और राइट हैंड साइड पर तो ये हो जाएगी टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इक्वल्स टू वन 2x एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इक्वल्स टू वन यहाँ पर हमारा l जीरो है तो ये जीरो रहेगा तो इसे सॉल्व करने के बाद हमें पता है एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वाई आया है तो हमने इसे क्या कर लिया वाई की जगह पे हमने क्या रख लेंगे ओके हम इसे इस तरीके से लिख सकते हैं कि हमने यहाँ से प्लस साइन कॉमन ले लिया तो हमारा ब्रैकेट में माइनस वाई हो गया माइनस वाई की जगह पे हम सिंपल एक्स रख देंगे तो टू एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन क्योंकि हमारा ये रिलेशन हमने प्रूव किया था इक्वेशन नंबर दस में तो यहाँ से वो फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन तो एक्स आया वन अपॉन फाइव सो ई की पावर एक्स हमने क्या कंसिडर किया था ई की पावर एक्स एक्स हमने ई की पावर में कंसिडर किया था तो एक्स की पावर हमारे पास आई है यहाँ पे वन बाई फाइव तो ई की और देखिए ऑप्शंस देखते हैं अब हम हमें अपना जो कैलकुलेशन है वो लेंथ ही नहीं करनी है हमें देखना है कि जहाँ पे हमारा आंसर मैच कर जाएगा वो वाली टर्म हम इस पर टिक कर देंगे तो ई की पावर फाइव यहाँ वन अपॉइंट फाइव हमारे यहाँ पे सिर्फ फर्स्ट वाले पे विजिबल है सेकेंड में ई की पावर माइनस वन है यहाँ पर ई की पावर वन है यहाँ पर ई की पावर वन है तो दिस ऑप्शन विल भी करेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर सोल्यूशन सो यहाँ पे अभी इतना ही है आगे और वीडियोस आएंगी कीप सब्सक्राइबिंग थैंक यू